welcome to Keyboarding. I'm Linda Sessions and I'll be your instructor this semester here at WATC for your keyboarding class. I wanted to give you a few tips on how to use the keyboarding website WATC.GDP11.com to complete your lessons. First thing we need to do is go to the internet and once we're on the internet I'm going to come up here to the address bar and enter in WATC.GDP11.com. In the right hand corner, it should say Wichita Area Technical College. That means you're on the correct site. The very first time you reach this page, you will need to register using the code found in the box bundle that you purchased at the bookstore. As you go through the steps for registration, click right here on the I have a registration code. You will be asked for the name of the class. The name of the class is different each semester, so check your class syllabus for your class name. Once you've completed your registration and you go to the WATC.GDP11.com website, then you will log in using your username and password that you created for this class. Please remember these as I do not have access, so please um, make sure you write them down and record them somewhere special. Now you don't need any special programming on your uh, computer. All you'll need is your textbook and your keyboard. You are 100% online. Your work will be recorded, scored, and you can review it in the student portfolio all here on this page. Now on the left side of the screen you'll see the lessons menu. You click on that, you'll see over here it has six parts. These six parts are further divided into units which are divided into lessons. To navigate to an exercise using this menu you're going to click the lessons button in the navigation bar. Here's part one. You're going to click a title to expand it. And over here you can see all the different ones in the Unit 1, Lesson 1, Lesson 2, Lesson 3, 4, and 5. You're going to click a Lesson Title to expand it. And this displays exercises for the lesson. Now, if you leave the program and return later, GDP will start you at the last exercise you viewed. Now we're going to start over here for Lesson 1, Home Row Keys. This information in this area responds to Lesson 1 in your textbook. When you're finished reviewing and reading that, you're going to click down here on this Next button. Now, if you do not see the Next button, come up here to the right side of your screen and click on your Maximize button, and your, this Next button should appear at the bottom. So we're going to click on that next button and it's going to take us to the next lesson. 1A, the home row position, which tells us how to put our fingers on the keyboard. When you're finished with that, click next and read through the next one. And keep reading through. Again, this information also corresponds with your textbook. Now when we get to lesson 1C, we're going to be starting to type. Now this exercise is also found in your textbook. What we're going to do is type exactly what we see. Remember to keep your fingers in the correct location on the keyboard as this will help you increase your speed and accuracy. If you make a mistake, you're going to be asked to strike the correct key to continue the exercise. And you're just going to keep doing this until you finish the exercise. So we've completed this exercise and click next to continue. This is how you work through the lessons in the textbook.
across the top of the screen, you'll see some other tabs. And if you want to know more information about these other tabs, then you can refer to the GDP Student Guide, which is located in Online Learning. Right here in our timed writings, there will be four timed writing tests in this class. Your detailed instructions on how to access the time test will be given in the weekly lessons folder in Online Learning. Once you have the timed writing lesson number, you're going to click on the timed writings tab. Over here on the side, you'll click on two minute and find the two minute time typing it's referring to. You're going to go to the page number in your textbook that corresponds with this lesson, the lesson 11i in this case, and you're going to start typing the text you see written there. Don't hit your backspace to make corrections, just keep typing. The text will automatically word wrap around so you don't need to hit the enter key until you hit the end of the paragraph that you're typing. You can complete this test up to three times and your best score will be counted. Remember you're working on speed and accuracy. The maximum number of errors that you want to have is five. Any error over five is an automatic three points off your score. You can review your scores in the student portfolio. So if we come up here to the My GDP button, it's going to bring us up to our student portfolio. And you can come here and you can see the date and the time that you took your test. So here on May 2nd, I had this two minute timed writing. I click on my arrow. It lets us know that uh, when I took it today, I had 128 errors. And that's really bad. You do not want to do that. You want to do more like what I had here on June 1st of last year, 94 words per minute and one error. Again, your best score is what's going to be counted, so I would count this 94 and 1 in the gradebook. This also lets you know what lessons you've completed and how long you worked on those lessons. Now please watch your due dates. I do not like to accept late work, and it is your responsibility to complete assignments on time. The lessons and the due dates are posted in the class syllabus and will also be posted in the weekly folder in online learning. Now if you have additional questions regarding GDP or this class, please send me an email at lsessions at watc.edu.